So it's kind of um, interesting to see everything that's going on in Indiana and the other states with these religious uh, freedom laws. Um, you know, I thought I was really strongly against them, and I, and I think I still am. But uh, Glenn Back, of all people, made me kind of think about it. Um, I was just, if you, in a previous video there, I was saying how I had some preconceptions about Glenn Beck, which weren't true. Uh, I listened to that great Tim Ferriss interview with Glenn Beck. Check it out. I'll see if I put the link below for you. Um, or check it out in the previous video. The link will be there. Um, in any case, uh, I found that when, you know, Glenn Beck isn't, I don't think from what I can see, he's a proponent of these laws. In other words, he's for them. Um, but he is not against gays. He just, he's a libertarian. He wants people to be able to do whatever they want. He says, you know, if you're gay, that's fine. I don't have a problem with it. You want to get married? That's fine. I don't have a problem with it. And and I agree with that. Um, but he thinks people should be able to do what they want without other people telling them what to do. I guess that's, you know, the basically principles of libertarianism. So with these issues in Montana, there was this Apparently this gay, or, or not gay, sorry, there was this bakery who um, are Christian owner, owned or Christian owners. They wanted to deny um, gays service. Like, I guess they didn't want to serve gays. That's what I understand has been part of the, the what's going on in the news right now from what I understand. Um, and so they actually got a huge backlash against them and like a, like almost like a protest online and I guess they lost a lot of money in business they had to shut their doors or whatever um, and then following that apparently there was almost a million dollars raised for them in support from Christians uh, I forget which site they used to host it I don't think it was Indiegogo it was it might have been GoFundMe and they came out uh, with this with this platform or somebody else put it up for them actually I believe was what happened uh, and they raised like the last I heard it was like eight hundred and sixty seven thousand dollars like almost a million bucks could be over that by now um, and then you have people coming out upset about that and um, you know the country today has never been more divisive than it is currently um, you've got polar opposite ends of the spectrum of ideals and, and ideas and people can't get together and come to any s sort of common ground any commonality between them um, and that was something I was kind of impressed with when I was listening to the Glenn Beck interviews he was talking about that you know um, that people can't seem to get past their own entrenched ideas to come together to govern together or to you know decide that they can listen to each other's opposing points of view and not get crazy about it. Um, and I didn't, I guess the, the thing that kind of surprised me is I didn't find myself disagreeing with much of what I heard Glenn Beck saying, especially in that interview with Tim Ferriss on his, he says he, he doesn't have a problem with gays. He doesn't have a problem with gay marriage. And I'm like, hmm, I was, I was surprised, honestly. I thought he was a Fox guy. I thought he was like Bill O'Reilly, like, you know, no, he shouldn't have any gay marriage. Um, so I, I realized uh, there was no um, opposition between the two of us. We don't disagree on that. Um, and then I thought, you know, I think he made the point that, you know, if you have a church, you shouldn't be forced to uh, marry gay people if your church doesn't believe in that. And I'm not sure that I disagree with that. I, I think they're they're allowed to have their opinions there and if it's the church well that's their that's their religious beliefs and I've all I, I'm big on freedom of religion I'm not a hugely religious person but I think everyone has the right to believe what they want to believe and be part of their own religion uh, and follow those things I think that's that's a founding principle of a free society um, and this is where the conflict which is really you know gets me thinking and I think a lot of people aren't thinking about this enough is you know one person's rights are impinging on an, another person's rights. I don't think if you have a business, I, maybe that's where I disagree with Glenn. I don't think if you have a business, I don't think this bakery should be not serving a gay person because they're gay. 
I mean, if that is indeed what was happening, I disagree with that. And if Glenn is in disagreement with me on that, then I guess that's where we do disagree. I don't disagree with it, though, when I heard Glenn say, you know, that if you have, I don't think I disagree with that. I'm kicking, this is, you know, I'm, I'm trying to think outside my own, what you know, explore what I thought about these things. Because if you have a church and you strongly believe that that's against God, that, and then hence you don't want to marry gay people. I'm not sure they shouldn't have the right to say they don't want to do that. It's within their religious freedoms, I think. Um, but I don't think businesses should be able to discriminate against gay people any more than they should be able to discriminate on race against blacks or orientals or anybody uh, for that matter. You know, blonde people. Like, I, I, I think when you run a business... Um, there's a different set of rules there. You can't close your doors to people. Uh, because if this, if you just took this and said this was about blacks, um, that would be blatantly, that not too many people, um, sane thinking people would be okay with that. I wouldn't be. So suddenly it's about gays and it should be okay on religious freedoms. And that's where I know I don't agree with that. I don't think you should be able to turn away people. Um, now, that's a general service thing. What about uh, if you provide a direct service, like they were talking about photographers? You know, if that's a closely held belief, I'm not even sure why a gay couple would want to force a photographer who holds those beliefs to, photographer their, uh, to photograph their wedding. Uh, that's an intimate thing. I mean, I shot weddings for many years as a professional photographer. I got to know uh, each of my couples very closely um, and became friends with them. And, and especially over the course of the day, you get you get tight with the family. I mean, at least I think a good photographer does. So if you're somebody that strongly is against somebody's lifestyle or, or what they are, why why do you want, even want that person? Uh, I'm not sure that I feel you should be able to force somebody in that situation, nor do I, I can't understand why you would want to. Um, it's, it's a touchy area. I can see that this, I don't think it's as black and white as I initially had thought it was. Although I do see black and white areas. Like I think if you have a business with the door open to the public, you know, like to sell in the bakery to sell a cake or something, and you just want to come in and, and buy a cake and leave, I don't think you should be just able to discriminate against anybody doing that. Um, but I'm not sure exactly where, it, how it should be dealt with, what it should be like in a situation of, say, the photographer in a gay couple's wedding. I wouldn't have a problem doing it. But if you're religious and you, that is a strongly held belief of yours, I, I you know, the whole religion thing, I could get off on a whole other thing. Because for me, why are you picking homosexuality? Uh, even if you accept that the Bible says homosexuality is a sin, do you also then not deal with divorced people? Do you not deal with liars do you not deal with you know every other commandment that we're commanded not to do because i don't think anywhere in the bible i don't think you could make the argument that homosexuality if you believe that's a biblical sin from the bible and and god hates it and whatnot i don't think you could make an argument that it's any worse than any of the other sins so why are you turning a blind eye to the other people and i guess maybe that's where um maybe that question should be posed of like this bakery do you question people if they're divorced or if um, they're liars? I mean, think about it. Everybody has done something in time. Why are you discriminating based on the one sin that you are putting up above the rest? Because that's not biblical to put homosexuality up above the other sins as worse than. That's hypocritical. You're being a hypocrite there because you're saying, I'm going to choose that one and I'm going to let all the other ones slide. So that's discrimination. I guess, you know, um, I guess maybe, you know, I'm just, I'm flushing this out in my own head here because Glenn made me think. <laughs> but, you know, I guess maybe when we're looking at the photographer in that situation, you know, are they going to boycott or refuse to give service to uh, any of the other types of sins that people do? You know, if you're, if you're proud, you know, pride is a, is a, is a sin. Um, what about, uh, if you're divorced, would they not serve somebody that's getting remarried? Because, you know, you could argue divorce is a sin. Um, what about if you're somehow a known liar? What if you are, 
a known cheater? What if you have transgressed against your wife or your previous wife or something, and that's why you're getting remarried? I mean, these are all big biblical sins. No less a sin than homosexuality if you believe the Bible thinks, you know, homosexuality is a sin. So then that's where it's hypocritical, right? I don't know. What do you guys think? Help me flush this out some more. <laughs> Leave some comments below. This is not, uh, I, I, I don't know. The more I think about that and, and that's twigged in my head, I'm thinking, yeah, well, that's a fundamental point to me. I'm thinking now is that how can you put the one sin up above the rest and then you're being a hypocrite if you're judging them but not, you know, judging each and every one. And then what about the old thing in the Bible about um, pulling the log out of your own eye before you start trying to reach and pull the log out of your neighbor's eye? That's basically, you know, don't judge somebody else until you are clean and pure and white as snow, which I'm not too sure any of us can say that. Anyways, leave a comment below. Let's have a discussion on it. Um, I'd be curious to see what other people think. Let's keep it civil. I don't want any far left or far right crazies going nuts, so we'll delete those comments. Anyways, thanks for tuning in. We'll be back soon.